everybody could join us tonight. We're going to have a great night of Christmas worship, and we want to invite you to stand and join us. Let's all sing Go Tell It on the Mountain. Let's sing it together. Two, three, four.
Fun Kids Choir today. Yes. And our Chi Alpha Student Choir on both sides. And how about the guitarists tonight? How about that? Good. Charlie, I think I saw some staff members playing guitar. Was that Ashley Berry Hill on a guitar? Oh my goodness. And Tanner, Ashley. Where's and Tanner? Tanner, yes. Okay. All those guitarists, thank you very much. Everybody, you know, the events that we're celebrating tonight really changed the whole world. Would you agree? And the truth is, the events that we're celebrating tonight changed us personally. Yes, yes. Exactly. During the Advent season, our church has been talking about when we remember, when God remembered, it always followed with an action. Sorry. So yes. God remembered his people, and he sent Jesus on Christmas Day. Such a good thing. Yes. So we want to do the same thing at this program. Yes. We want to remember what Christ has done so that we can go and tell it. Absolutely. So today, it's more than just a Christmas concert. Mm -hmm. We don't just want you to be or, uh, watchers. We want you to participate. Yes. So would you stand with us and participate better, in this carol scene? Okay, here's one.
Longing, yearning, waiting. For centuries, the people of God awaited a Messiah, a Savior, one to bring the peace and power of God, one to bring salvation to all mankind. God sent a forerunner, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, one who would prepare the way for all who had ears to hear, one who would fearlessly proclaim, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Of him the prophets declared, and you, child, will be called the prophet of the highest. For you will go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, with which the dayspring from on high has visited us, 
to give light to those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. And as surely as the ancient prophets had predicted, so it came to pass, God would, in the fullness of time, send the perfect king of glory, the Messiah, the prince of heaven.
light of mercy, confess our sin, lay our burdens at Jesus' feet, and with gladness see.
God had remembered his promise. The prophecies had now become a living reality. Mary held in her arms the Savior of the world, the great I am. In a beautiful expression of wonder and joy, Mary sang a song of submission and worship. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior, for he has regarded the lowly state of his servant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who was mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the man, the rich man, he has sent away. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever.
The Lamb of God was born into a world of desolate darkness and gloriously became the light of the world. The birth of the Christ child fulfilled the words of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. The incarnate Christ child was truly God from God, light from light. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Now see the light of morning, the mighty God, the Prince of Peace, a child to us is born. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away our sin.
stars in the wintry sky. Joy of the Father, reach through the darkness, shine across the earth, send the shadows to fly. Light up. I'm Dennis Wiles. I'm the pastor here at First Baptist, and uh, we have definitely had a beautiful presentation tonight of the Christmas story, and I'm so appreciative of all these folks who've made it possible for us. And we celebrate Christmas here at First Baptist Arlington, and uh, we're so glad you have joined us tonight. The celebration continues. We'll gather here on Christmas Eve. It's a special candlelight service, and we'd love for you to come and be here and join with us. We'll have two services on Christmas Eve, one at 4 o'clock and one at 5.30. And this year, Christmas is on a Sunday, and so we'll gather at 10.30 for a special family-friendly worship service that morning. We'd love to have you. But we want you to know this tonight, that we are grateful that we can celebrate that Christ has come. But here's what we'd like for all of you to know tonight. 
the people here on this platform, the folks who have made all this possible tonight, we will celebrate that Christ has come. But we want you to know that we'll also celebrate why he has come. Because we actually know why he's come. You know, God created every one of us. He created all of us in his own image. And he loves us deeply. And he knows every single one of you. Those of you that are in this room, those of you that are joining us online, he knows everything about you. He knows your deepest fears. He knows your darkest secrets. He knows your greatest victories. And he knows all those defeats that we've all experienced. And here's what we want you to know. He loves you. And he has demonstrated his love for us. As Charlie said a while ago, God didn't just remember us. When he remembered, he chose to take action. Because you see, when human beings chose to sin all the way back in the Garden of Eden, what happened was we were then separated from God. And that means every single one of us since then has been born separated from God. And there's actually nothing you and I can do about it. We can't overcome it. Some people think, well, I'll just be a good person. And if I'm, if I'm just good enough, maybe God will accept me. But the problem is, none of us can be good enough to gain God's acceptance because we're all sinners and we're so separated from him that we had no hope. And that is the why of Christmas. God chose to answer our deepest need, and to speak into that separation. And the Bible teaches us that he loved us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus. And on Christmas Day, we celebrate the why of that precious gift. And guess what Jesus offers me and you today? He offers us life. It's a life that begins right here on this earth, but it's a life that will last forever. And he is the only way to God. And all of us here on this platform we know that. Those of us here at our church, we know that. That Jesus Christ is the only path that leads to God. And so, you can actually find your way into God's presence. You can find acceptance. You can find your way into eternity. And the only way to find it is through Jesus. You can actually do that tonight. You can actually acknowledge to God that you know you're separated from him. And that you know you're sinful. And you know you need to be forgiven. And you know that Jesus, when he died on the cross, died for your sins. And you can ask him into your life. And he can be your savior. And then you can celebrate the why of Christmas. And once you give your life to him, he not only gives you eternal life, he gives you an abundant life here on this earth. And that's really our prayer for you. We want you to know the reality of that story. So I'm going to ask us to all bow our heads tonight. Whether you're in this room, whether you're joining us online. And if God is speaking to you tonight... If God has touched your heart tonight, if God has drawn you to himself tonight, I want to just lead you in a prayer. And you can pray it in your own words, just in the quietness of this moment. But if you'll pray something like this, you can invite the Lord Jesus into your life, and he can be your savior, and you can join the rest of us in celebrating the why of Christmas. So let's bow our heads, and let me just lead you in a prayer. And you just say this in your own heart, as I said. Maybe you're in this room. Maybe you're joining us online. Just come before the Lord, and you can just say, Dear God, first of all, thank you for loving me. Thank you for creating me. And I acknowledge tonight that I'm a sinner, and I'm sorry, and I ask you to forgive me. And I do believe that you sent Jesus, your son, and that he died on the cross for my sin, and he was raised from the dead to never die again. And so I invite Jesus into my heart right now to be my Savior, to be my Lord. And I give my life to you now forever. Thank you for loving me. And thank you for saving me. And thank you for giving me a life that will never end. I will serve you now the rest of my life. And I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer or a prayer like that, then the Bible declares to us, you've just been saved. You've just been welcomed in the eternal family of God. And we want you to know here as a church that we want to help you and encourage you. 
So if you're online or you're in this room, you can go to fbca.org slash hello. And if you'll go to fbca.org slash hello, you'll find a little tab there that says, I want to follow Jesus. And if you'll click on that tab, you can let us know who you are. And we'll follow up with you and help you understand what it means to truly celebrate Christmas and to follow Jesus the rest of your life. Because it is the greatest gift you could ever receive. We'll get a lot of gifts at Christmas. Boys and girls, won't we get a lot of gifts at Christmas? We will, won't we? And we'll give a lot of gifts. But the single best gift of all is Jesus. And we hope and we pray that you've already unwrapped that present in your life. And if you did it tonight, we want to celebrate with you. Can you imagine Christmas without music? And so one of the things that we love to do is respond to our Lord. And we want to sing praises to his name, particularly at Christmas. And so Christians for centuries have been saying, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's join with this choir, this orchestra, these folks who can lead us. And so congregation, let's sing along with them as we sing hallelujah to our Lord. <clears throat> I'm only talking for a brief moment. Uh, but tonight as we celebrate the light that came into the world, we want to remind you that, that if that is a light that you have experienced, that that is a light you have seen, you once walked in darkness but now know Christ, that that's a light you are called to share. So as you leave tonight, which we'll do in a little bit, we have a little tea light for you that you'll get as you exit. That's just a reminder that you carry this light of God with you wherever you go. And I have a friend who has said, and very wisely, that a light shines best in a dark room, and that's the room that needs it the most. So as you go about your week and this Christmas season, remember that those of us who are part of this eternal family of God carry this light of God with us, and we want you to share that with your friends and with your neighbors. So as you leave, remember to take a tea light and rem remember to share the light of God with the people in your life. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Dr. Wiles. Everybody, are you grateful that Jesus came at Christmas time? Yes. And are you grateful? Are you grateful for the life he lived after Christmas? And are you grateful that he was willing to die on the cross for our sins? Yes. And he's coming again. Someday he's coming again. So everybody, we just want to say thank you for sharing this evening of worship with us. Boys and girls, young people, orchestra, choir, congregation, thank you all for being here tonight. We want to conclude tonight by singing our commitment to go and tell. So let's celebrate together. Everybody, let's stand together. Let's sing Go and Tell It. <laughs> 